Bozy Ennis comes out and says that if Crawford is his own boss, then why didn't he fight Boots? What's going on, you guys? I'm going to be on this channel probably for a little while. Um, so, some stuff happened, right? Some stuff happened um, with YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm explaining to you guys. I'm having an emergency meeting in the morning, man. I would like for all you guys to show up for the live stream. We're going to talk about some boxing. But we're going to also talk about the current situation and with the, with the main dojo, right? Um, but everybody may have to be coming over here pretty soon. But my boy YSM Sports Media, man, salute to my boy YSM Sports Media. He's doing a phenomenal job in the boxing community. Yeah, you see the whip back there? It's a nice little whip your boy got. You know what I'm saying? Nice little whip. Clean as motherfucker. Ride it great. My boy YSM been starting shit in the boxing community, right? He's not as in your face with it, right? But he 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 knows what he's doing. And he's in the gym with the Ennis's. And Bozy Ennis comes out and says that if Crawford is his own boss, then why didn't he fight Boots? Why didn't he choose Boots? They would have fought Crawford in a heartbeat. It seems like Jerron Boots Ennis is getting pushed back and forth. He's in the middle and the fan base is pushing him. You know, the Crawford fans is pushing him to Spence and the Spence fans is kind of pushing him to Crawford. This is what's going on with Jerron Boots Ennis. We don't know who he's going to fight. He got a fight that he should be announcing pretty soon. We don't know who Boots is going to be fighting. But... Boxing fans seem to really want Boots to fight. Oh, Terrence Crawford fight Jerron Boots Ennis. Other fans seem to want Errol Spence to fight Boots Ennis. Will Boots Ennis get any of these fights? I don't know. He may have to wait until the smoke clears between Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford. But Bozy Ennis said that Crawford is his own boss. He should have fought Boots. He should have picked Boots. He said they would have took that fight in a heartbeat. The actual matchup is something that we kind of talked about. I think that Jerron Boots Ennis has a abundance of talent, like I said before. Only thing I, I, I need to see from him is for him to get hit in the mouth. And what I mean by that, not necessarily hit in the mouth, but go through some adversity in the fight. When we, when we have these super, super talented fighters that's just running through the opposition. Nobody seems to be able to stop him. It's always a question for your boy Bushido. How will he react when he gets hit in the mouth? How will he adapt if the fight isn't going his way? I'm not saying that Drumbo's in this wouldn't pass any of these tests, right? But this is something that your boy Bushido needs to see. Other than that, Drumbo's in this checks all the boxes. But and also, if I'm honest, you guys, I would I do feel that Drumbo's in this would be probably Crawford's toughest matchup. Tougher than Spence, tougher than Thurman, probably tougher than Charlo. I don't know. Don't throw tomatoes at me from saying it. But Jerome Boots Ennis has size. He has speed. He has power. He's a, he's a switch hitter as well. Um, he's a naturally bigger guy than Crawford. It'll be probably a tough fight for Terrence Crawford, if I'm honest. But Terrence Crawford, what he does have over Jerome Boots Ennis is experience, right? We've seen what happened when Bud gets hit in the mouth. He ends up stopping these guys shortly thereafter. Another thing we haven't seen from Boots is him fight a guy that's necessarily bigger than him, a guy that can deal with his size and his strength, right? We haven't necessarily seen that from Boots. Is Crawford that guy? I'm not sure. But Bozy Ennis seems to believe that his son is ready for Terrence Crawford. He could be. If I'm honest, you guys, let me, let me just be honest with you. I think Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the world. I think he's the best boxer in the world. However, I will be lying to you if I told you that Crawford wasn't weary of Jerron Boots Ennis. He knows what he sees. He can feel it, right? We could all see it. We could all damn near feel it, right? Some of us aren't believers of Boots Ennis, but, but your boy Bushido believes that Jerron Boots Ennis is all that in the bag of chips. We just need to see him get hit in the mouth. Should Crawford had to chose Boots Ennis, going into a potential fight with Errol Spence, right? Would you ask Errol Spence to go into a fight with Boots Ennis when we got a fight with Crawford on the horizon, a fight that we all been waiting for? Look, man, Jerome Boots Ennis looks like a nightmare. I'd be lying to you guys if I said otherwise. But salute to my boy YSM Sports Media for doing great work in the boxing community, man. You got to go check out my boy YSM. This might be the main dojo for now. Check out for the emergency meeting in the morning. Peace out.